guys. So today we're going to talk about why you do not want to be listed as your business's own registered agent. My name is Brianna Robertson. I'm the managing attorney here at the law office of Brianna C. Robertson, where we specialize in um, legally protecting and growing your brand. Um, so yes, let's get right into the topic for today on like why you do not want to be listed as your business's registered agent. And I think to get there, you need to first understand what the role and purpose of a registered agent is. The sole purpose of a registered agent is to accept service on behalf of your business. And when I'm saying service, I'm talking about whenever you serve legal documents, whether that be lawsuits, um, you know, demand letters, cease and desist letters, whatever legal documents there may be, uh, whenever people need to go and put your business on notice, because the first step in any lawsuit is that you have to first be put on notice um, that you have a lawsuit against you, which means they got to give you the papers. So that is what we call service. And whenever somebody wants to serve your business, they serve your business through your registered agent. And so that is the sole purpose of your registered agent is to accept service on your behalf. The responsibilities that come with that is that means during business hours, wherever your registered agent is listed, that person has to be there at all times between business hours to make sure that you're able to be uh, served at any time. Um, and so this goes into why I do not recommend that you be listed as your business's registered agent. The number one reason is, is that if you're listed as your business's registered agent, whatever address that you list, um, you have to make sure that you were there from nine to five on all working business days. So that means you can't take vacations. You can't leave. If you have to leave for work, you can't do that. You can't, you know, leaving for lunch, you can't do any of those things because you have to make sure that there is somebody at that location at all times between, you know, typical business hours. Somebody has to be there to be able to accept service on, on behalf of your business. So that is the first reason why I do not recommend that you be your business's own registered agent unless you're able to do something like that because you want to make sure that you're able to have documents, uh, be served documents at all time. And unless you want to be tied to one spot all the time, I do not recommend that you be your business's own registered agent. The other reason why that is so important is because let's say you do have to leave and somebody does go try to serve you documents and you're not there, then they're not able to perfect service against you. The consequences of that is that then that person, the other party, then has to go and find another means of serving you, whether that be through, usually that is means through the secretary of state or they sometimes they'll publish it in a newspaper or what have you. The problem with that is that when that happens, the odds of that uh, notice coming to you is very slim. It's very slim that people actually end up getting, you know, notified of these lawsuits when they have to be served, like through those other means. And so that means whenever that person goes to court, you don't know about the lawsuit. You don't know about future court dates. You don't know like when you're supposed to be in court. You don't know what the allegations are against you. So that means when they go to court, since you're not there, then a default judgment can be entered against you. A default judgment means like you weren't there to answer yourself. So whatever they allege, the court finds that is true. And therefore a judgment is entered against you. And therefore your, your business is now liable for whatever damages that was asked for in that judgment, simply because one, you were never able to be there to defend yourself because you didn't know when the court date was. Um, and so these are all issues that can stem from not being served properly. And, you know, if you're listed as your business registered agent and you weren't there when you would be served, like that's kind of your own fault. Um, and this is the same thing with if you miss documents, if you, you know, your own business is registered agent, you get a lot of documents. If you miss things and you're going to end up missing court, once again, default judgment can be entered against you. Um, and so this is why we always recommend, or I at least try to recommend that, you know, businesses not be their own registered agent, but to go through another company or another service, there's, um, you know, a lot of services out there that are, are listed as your registered agent, where it is their job to make sure that somebody is staffed at that location, you know, during all business hours to accept service on your behalf and to notify you whenever you have a court date or whenever you have a lawsuit against you or what have you. Like that is their sole job. And so I definitely recommend that you use that, you do that way um, versus you be listed as your own business's registered agent. Um, I hope you found this information helpful. Um, if you did, please click the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that way you can be notified whenever we have new videos that drop to help you legally protect your business. 
Have a good day.